Welcome to International English Language Testing System IELTS Speaking Test. Test Center, British Language Club and IELTS Center, Kazla Mutihar Rashahi. Test date, 15 November 2022. Examiner Mushfiqur Rahman. Candidate is Ariful Hassan Mahi. Let's get started. Good evening. Good evening. Please tell your full name, candidate ID number and let me see your passport please. My name is Mohammad Ariful Hassan Mahi. My ID number is 62507 and here is my passport. Yes. Where do you come from and where do you live? I come from Kumilla, that is my hometown and I live in Dhaka, Mohammadpur and uh, yeah, in Babur mm -hmm. Road actually. Okay. Tell me about your educational qualification and why you are taking us. I completed my SSC from Dhaka Residential Modern College and I completed my HSC exam from Northern College. Now I am a student of Rajshay University. The name of my department is Tourism and Hospitality Management. I am a student of first year and I am thinking IELTS because I have a dream to go to abroad and be a big businessman and that's why I am going to uh, having this IELTS. Okay. Describe your hometown. Uh, as I said, my hometown is Kumilla. Uh, the uh, it, it's a small city, not that big, but uh, it has many traditional qualities and historical events. Uh, it, the, uh, let me start uh, with winter. In winter, there are uh, various pitas uh, pitas festival in Kumilla, and it is uh, situated on the bank of Turak Turak River. Um, the, uh, there are uh, there are various uh, various place to visit in Kumilla, uh, as like uh, uh, as like uh, Sonaga is near Kumilla. It's almost in Kumilla. Then um, then we can say okay. Uh, okay. I forgot the uh, it's okay. visiting places. Okay, let me describe the uh, people of there. They are very really hardworking and uh, they are good entrepreneur types. Uh, in 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 the that uh, that city, uh, there are uh, farmers, farmers and. Uh, okay, what do you like to drink with your dinner? I like Pepsi sometimes for alcohol, but I prefer Pepsi much. Okay, do you drink a lot of water every day? I usually drink a lot of water every day. I try to drink a lot of water every day because uh, water is very, very good for health and it, your body always needs water. And we cannot live without water because water, water's other, na other name is life. That's sure. why I usually drink water regularly. And very Do you prefer drinking tea or coffee? I don't prefer drinking coffee because I like tea. Coffee is not my type. Uh, I I like tea. Uh, I like tea especially uh, in, with the milk of uh, milk of cow. Okay. And uh, I don't like uh, red tea actually or green tea. I like. Okay. If people visit you in your house, what you usually offer them to drink? Why and why not? If uh, if people visit in our house, we usually offer them Coke, Coca Cola. Popular and uh, I think this is a good beverage and it, it, uh, most of the people uh, adores it and uh, besides we give them uh, we give them uh, water maybe wow, I'm sure the English will hear ah, sweet water sweet water okay okay uh, that's the end of your part one yes in your part two you will get a Q card and your and a paper and a pencil. You will get one minute to see, and you have to talk about two minutes on this topic. Which topic? A monument means uh, a a thing that. Uh, a thing by which we can remember our 
uh, our freedom fighters or something that happened that happened in the past that is historical and we can we can we can remember that or we can uh, go go to that uh, go to that place and uh, and see see the sculpture or or the statue uh, and uh, let me let me say uh, about a, mon a monument. Uh, we can say the uh, the Shohid Minar of, of our Shohid, uh, about our Shohid Minar that is situated in Dhaka, and Dhaka. Uh, in twenty uh, first of February, there are thousands of people go there and give uh, give flowers to to, uh, to admire or admire our uh, our freedom fighters or uh, in. Uh, in uh, 1952, of 1952 lang language war, uh, it, it is also uh, also also uh, mentioned by the UNESCO that it is now uh, 21st February is now Mother Language Day of the world, Mother Language Day of the world. So many tourists and many various kind of people come here to see this monument. To see the to see this monument and uh, click pictures of this and visit this this place and and there are uh, there are some uh, other people other people who come here to uh, to see to see this uh, to learn about Bangladesh because it represents Bangladesh uh, as Shiti Shoudho Shohid Minar they are the main sculpture or the monuments of Bangladesh. Uh, people uh, people praise these things very much in uh, in our country, and uh, the the Shohid Minar looks like looks like uh, looks like a, a long long sculpture which is which is very wide. Uh, there is a red red round uh, round circle in the on the uh, in the center of the center of the uh, center of the monument and there are uh, uh, around seven bars uh, uh, beside the uh, in two sides of the circle uh, okay. they are in white color okay. that's the end of part two let us start part three what kind of monuments do tourists in your country enjoy visiting as I mentioned, uh, in our country, the tourists who came from foreign countries, they uh, used to visit the Shohid Minar, the Sveti Shoutho, the Bhutti uh, Jibi uh, uh, in Kosila uh, uh, of our country, in Dhaka. Uh, the, uh, to, uh, tourists of various countries come here to visit this, this monument because they are very historical and traditional. Okay. Why do you think there are often statue, statues of famous people in public places? There are often famous uh, statues of famous people uh, because people, by seeing these statues or sculptures, people remember about them. People remember about their doing they have they done for the country or for people or for the for the society. They learn about them and get interested about them. Okay. Do you agree that old moment, monuments and buildings should always be preserved? I think old monuments and buildings, yeah, should always be preserved. Be, um, uh, I think that uh, I prefer the buildings more because the buildings, uh, buildings. Capture the history, okay. Capture the history, uh, because uh, we if we go to a building that is uh, uh, one king's building, that is historical okay. kings, we can learn about how they lived, how they how they do the things, how what kind of dresses they wear, or what kind of exercise they do if by the buildings. But sculpture doesn't show that very much. But sculpture should also be preserved. Okay. Why is architecture such a popular university subject? 
I think in si- for science background, architecture, architecture, especially architecture engineer is a very good subject and I prefer that very much. Uh, architecture, uh, if we see our country, we can learn that the, the very, most of the buildings are done by the architecture engineer. Okay. If without them, we can we can't design the buildings. We can you, you, we can enjoy the unique things, new new things. So architecture is very important, and it, it shows how the our country is devel- being developed. Because we need buildings for everything, for factories, for living, for for education, for learning, a various a okay things. In what ways has the design of our homes changed in recent years? In recent years, our the designs of our homes changed very much because if we go ten years back or fifteen years back, there were long, long balconies in our buildings. Oh. There were uh, washrooms of big space. There were rooms that that contained big space. But in if we say if we see recent uh, recent buildings we can see the balconies are very small that um, most of them are apartments the, the apartments shows that small small balconies small washrooms and the room the size of the rooms are not that big uh, that had the other people before so uh, people are uh, being congested and people are being uh, you um, living with their family most of the time, not with the neighbors, not with gossiping them. So they need small space and so the okay. building are being... To what extent does the design of buildings affect people's mood? Can you repeat this? I... To what extent does the design of the building affect people's mood? Yeah, the design of the building uh, Affects people. It affects people. Uh, people's mood very much because if we have, if I have, uh, can if I say about me, yes, I, I, I wish to have a big, big build, big building in which flat I can have a big room, big living room, big bedroom, and uh, I, I can, uh, I can also have a swimming pool in my, in my, in my flat. So. I think if I go to this kind of a flat, uh, my mood will change automatically. But if I go, go to a small, a small a building of a small room, small space, uh, my mood will not be that much good. Uh, I think uh, most of the people of our country prefer this. If we go to the villages, we can see their homes are uh, not very expensive, but they uh, preserve very big rooms and big quality uh, uh, qualities so okay uh, that's all thank you